And we back! It is time for us to rebuild the Chicago Bulls. Let's pray that the game works this time. If you watched last video, you know that the game didn't work enough for us to get the job done. The Bulls made a lot of decisions. Alex Caruso traded for Josh Giddy. DeMar DeRozan traded for two first round or two second round, second round picks. I would say these first round picks. Two second round picks and Chris Dorte. Basically showing the direction of the team. Um, the last two of the previous era is uh, Vucevic and Zach Levine. We got to figure out homes for them. I do want to say these videos are not supposed to be hyper realistic. So, yes, I'm going to trade Zach Levine somewhere. And you've been like, Kenny, they probably not interested. That's not what this is about, baby. We are here tanking for Cooper Flag, basically. I saw that Team USA footage. I'm like, oh, yeah, we locked in. We are completely locked in. All right, player progression sees Kobe White jump up one. Josh Giddy jump up two. Patrick Williams jumps up two. Lonzo drops. Yeah, he's coming off such a major injury. That kind of makes sense to me. And a lot of the other people drop as well. We still, even though we're a young team and everything, we are here to lose, lose, lose. Okay, lose, lose, lose. On the agenda, priority numero uno, lose games and lose them fast and lose most of them. If not all of them, we're going to get rid of Andrew Funk. Oh, we can't. Re oh, you got you got an injury, a sore knee. So we can't wave you. Get out of here. Sore knee. He even got a knee brace on. He trying to convince me. No, brother, your 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 time here is done. Your time here is done. All right. Check. It. So um, first team we're going to call to try to figure out if they want Zach Levine is the Charlotte Hornets. We'll we'll. Yeah, I, I didn't realize. Never mind. Yeah, I don't really. All right. Cut that, cut that. Next team, we try to call to see if they want Zach Levine. Uh, it's so weird now. Because it used to be like Gordon Hayward's big old contract. Trade for that. That doesn't exist no more. Gordon Hayward don't even got no big old contract no more. Like the Ben Simmons one makes sense, kind of. But they're trying to get Cooper Flag too. Why would they want Zach Levine? They got this man at a 67 overall. <laughs> oh, that's insane. Yeah, how do we find the Zach Levine home? I guess it's the same question that the real Bulls are trying to figure out. Evil world we live in, we can't find a Zach Levine destination. It's the evil world we live in, man. Wow. Hey, I'm just I'm just looking at the Warriors and say, hey, Trace Jackson Davis, a good player and everything. But do you want Nikola? Do you want Nikola Vucevic? You know, it's a weird time and, and the Warriors, you know, I'm just trying to figure it out. They want to first get out of here. I, I'm giving you the better player. What do you mean you want the first? No, thank you. We 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 will find another home for you. I guess it is really hard to find a trade for these guys, man. <laughs> it's really hard to find a trade for these guys. Uh hey, we can we can send them back. We can send them back. Who do we get back in return in that trade though? Yeah, they ain't got it. All right, so we can't send them back. Oh yes. Your best center is Moses Brown right now. Oh, I guess in real life they signed Daniel Tice, so that this this roster might not be updated. But okay, we can ooh, we got to get up to twenty million though. That's hard. Hold on, let's figure this out. The Pelicans said they're a championship contender regardless, so they're not they're not making any trades. They said we don't need a center. Center is center is not a position of need in the NBA anymore. I guess I am gonna have to concede and say that there's no trades for these guys as of right now. Now things do shift throughout the course of the season, right? A team can be desperate and need a backup center because their center got injured or something i don't know but as of right now there is really really no market i i keep looking at these warriors and say don't y'all want nikola vucevic like um yeah dude this is yeah it's not a trade it's not a trade out there to do right now how insane is that and your 20 million dollars is too much money for you to be a backup vooch nobody's adding 20 million to their salary cap or in their salary books for a backup center you know um so we could try to send you back, but like, what? what is it going to be? Gary Harris and some stuff? Dang, KCP's overall dropped, and he's got a $20 million contract. All right, let's see what Trey Finder can build for us then. And none of them are going to be realistic. Um, nope, 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 nope. Zach Levine trades are so awful too. Sheesh. Oh my goodness. Uh, so Emmanuel quickly, Zach Levine, RJ Barrett, Scotty Barnes, and Vucevic. Like that could be a team. We take Bruce Brown's contract to try to flip him later down the line. We take Yaka Perl to try to flip him down the line. We take Chris Boucher. He's 32 years, 31 years old and not very good. So we'll probably just let that expire. S give me a, give me a, the Pacers first. All right, they want Chris Dorte. They, no, 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 no. Now you're just adding stuff. I don't even want to pick. Just get these guys off my team. They want Chris Dorte. I don't want Kelly Olenek, bro. I literally don't want Kelly, Kelly Olenek. But if you want Chris Dorte, so bad, you can have him. Give us back GT, Gary Temple. Boom. I told you this video wasn't going to be realistic. But hey, we we did we did a big trade, okay? We did a really big trade. Now, Jakob Perdo is our starting center on the Tankathon team. 
we can, yeah, start Modest Buzelis as a rookie. We should be really, really bad this season. And again, that is that is our goal. We got no wings. We got... <laughs> I'm going to make Bruce Brown a wing because we know he can. He's small, but we know he can play small for. Look at that. Boom. Look at that. Now, the minutes look better. They want to start Bruce Brown over the rook? And the rook falls out of the rotation completely? Yeah, I can't I can't sign off on that. He, he ain't got to start, but he definitely got to play. He's definitely got to play. All right. And on the trade market, we're going to add um, Lonzo Ball. We're going to add Yaka Pertle. We're going to add Bruce Brown. Yep, yep, yep. Let's go lose every game. First game of the season is against Zach Levine and company. We lost. Yeah, I bet Zach Levine had a great game. I told you. Toronto, I just found you your next Vince Carter. Remember, he can dunk too. <laughs> and Vucevic is the next Chris Bosh. No, he's the next Bargnani. Yeah. Raptors fans, I told you, we y'all up, man. Y'all are really up. Congratulations on your 2025 play-in championship that you go win with these guys on the team. Oh, uh, we just can't defend anybody. That's the goal, though. That's the goal. I'll see y'all at the deadline, and we should be really bad. Let me go ahead and load in the draft class. Y'all know how it go. All righty, we are 11 and 37. Um, Kobe White is upset, bro. Why do they not have Kobe White taking every shot? Why is this shot? Oh, Kobe, bro. There's no reason to be upset, man. Your shot tendency should have been 99 from the start, my boy. It should have been 99 from the start. He's Javon Carter starting. Over. All right. All right. Let us lock in. I mean, yeah, we wanted to lose, but not lose so much that Kobe White point per game drop off by seven. My fault, Kobe. That's me not paying attention. Josh, Josh Giddy stats look amazing. Wow. He might be an MIP candidate. Bruce Brown. Yup, you can't shoot though. It's gonna be hard for me to convince teams to take you if you can't shoot. Yaka Pertle, good season, good season. Ayo Sumo, very good season. Jalen Smith, okay. All right, no, 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 no. We actually got stuff to do here. Lonzo, still a 30-something percent three-point shooter. We love that. All right, so let's let's get into the things. Let's get into the things. This is a weird time where I'm the I'm the guy selling right now. So we gotta go look at some contending, some buying teams. Now, we got $23, $23 million with Bruce Brown, right? So finding the Bruce Brown team might be a little bit interesting. Um, he's an 80 overall. He's a small fourth, though, so that kind of helps. Dang. The Clippers are selling. I kind of saw that one coming, though. Oh, Grizzlies are selling. Ugh. What type of season is Duncan Robinson having? Oh, they I don't know. They, he's not on the roster anymore. Okay, John Wall is here, though. Hey, John Wall got another opportunity. I was going to trade Bruce Brown for Duncan Robinson because they're buying, but they already made some stuff. Tyler Hero, Terry Rozier, and, 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 oh man, how do you pronounce this man's name again? Hold on, hold on. Khalil, Khalil Ware, um, are available, I guess. KCP has already been traded, by the way. Yikes, that's not ideal. The one seed in New York Knicks are rebuilding. Can you see that? They're rebuilding. Yeah, the thing is, all of these teams that are playing, uh oh, oh, DeJounte Murray, CJ McCollum, and wow, I can maybe give you all a center, bro. I can give you Yaka Pirtle. You're the ninth seed. You right on the cusps, cusps of making something happen, bro. But no, all the teams that are like, wow, the Warriors are really good. Who saw that coming? All the teams that are good don't really have a $20 million contract that they got to get rid of. So let's go talk to the Pelicans again and say, hey, you definitely need a center, bro. And it won't even cost you more than um, CJ, CJ, you give me CJ McCollum, I'll give you both of these guys. You know, you got to give me back another player. You give us back Antonio Reeves. Look at that. This is a this is a, a steal for y'all. We just want the first round pick from the Bucks. That's not a good one. We also want a first round pick from you from 2028. Deal. I got two firsts for those two players. And now we basically going to use CJ McCollum as a pseudo third team trade. And we're going to throw CJ McCollum to another team that could be using, that could, could need some scoring. I know, again, it's $30 million, so it's hard to find, but... You know, good. I think I think it's a good place to be. Trey Young is not on the Hawks right now. <sighs> I repeat, Trey Young is not on the Hawks right now. But and based on this, what the heck is happening in this league? Based on this, he's either a Nick or he is a Jazz. Um, let's let's go see. Let's play the. Oh, so he does play for the Jazz. Okay. Um, obviously, it's been a lot of trades in this video so far. Clint Capella, Marvin Bagley. They ugh, ew, ew. Who needs $30 million of scoring? But there are so many weird people on different teams. Derrick Jones Jr. has been traded to this, to the Orlando Magic. Um, this is just such a weird simulation already. The Spurs, you got your guy, huh? They want Javon Carter? Promise you you can take Javon Carter for free. 
promise you, you can take him for free. Oh, you can't take him for free. You need to give us another player. But you can, I swear you can have him. I swear we are not, we are not going to be really upset about that. Julian Champagne. Now they want an unprotected first. What are they doing, bro? Just do, the, just do the deal. Just do the deal. Do the deal. That would be my tactic as a general manager in real life. I would just call people phone and be like, do the deal, bro. Come on, man. Do the deal. I don't think they're going to do the deal, though. I think they're... They're very anti doing the deal because you're definitely not getting Ayo to sumo. I'll tell you that much. My deal is dead. Like, what about Trey Finder for CJ? Because I don't want CJ McCullough on the team. I'll be honest with you. All right, I didn't get a first round pick out of it. <laughs> it's the exact same trade, but I didn't get a first. All right. Okay, so everything should be good now. We got some extra first round picks. Um, We need to make this a 10 man rotation so we can get some backup center minutes. Jalen Smith is now full time starter. Matas Buzelis as a rookie is looking pretty solid. And we should tank our way to the second half of the season. Can we get Kobe White some shots, though? I'm mad that he's mad. That's not the Chicago Bulls way. Oh, Lonzo's still on the team. No, let's find this Lonzo team. It's $20 million a year, right? I mean, if I'm not getting the first, I might as well just keep him. But I'll go I'll go look at some other teams that can maybe make up 20. Like, 20 is not that hard to, to end up happening, right? A team that could use some backup point guard play. All right, couldn't find a deal. Lonzo Ball, you will just walk in free agency, I guess. Let's go continue to lose, y'all. All right, check it, check it. Here's the MVP. Here's the rookie of the year. Here's the deep six man of the year. Okay. DPOY. Um, they get most improved and six man. The Warriors really came up. I guess. I guess we're seeing the playoffs. Uh, we are not involved in that, that playoff jargon. Uh, we're not even close. Uh, Kobe White, your averages went up again, but he's upset. He's not going to stay upset. I promise you he won't. I'm not going to lie. I'm not feeling the Bulls right now. We'll see if that changes. Kobe, a better change. Or I might just end the video. <laughs> um, Josh Giddey had a really good season. 18, 6, and 5. His three-point shooting is as bad as ever. So that's not ideal when you think about basketball in 2024. But, you know, whatever. Whatever. I've, this is the exact season we wanted. We won a total of 19 games. The tanking is, let's not say over. But, but what, what I will say is if we win this lottery, we immediately are going to try to compete for a playoff spot again. Um, conference finals is pretty cool on both sides, honestly. So we get Luka versus Tyrese Halliburton in the final. Benedict Mathurin, do y'all remember him existing? Because it's been a minute since we watched him play. Klay Thompson and the company are back in the finals. That's pretty cool for Klay Thompson. Um, they actually went through the Golden State Warriors in the first round. Wow. And they completely swept them. Klay Thompson in the playoffs so far is shooting like he's Klay Thompson. All right, game one, Mavericks win. Game two, Pacers win. Game three, Mavericks 2-2 two -two series. Game five is the most important one, and the Pacers win five in overtime behind Tyrese 43-14. Oh, my God, with a stat line. Kyrie Irving had a crazy stat line, too. But how will it end? With the Pacer championship. Who saw that coming? No major changes. Johnny Furphy played a minute in the playoffs, in the finals. No major changes. This is their normal roster. They didn't do anything. And they made it to the finals as a five seed. That's pretty cool. All right, a lot of people are retiring right now, though. I'm trying to prevent some of the OGs, but it is what it is. Russell Westbrook, nah, you didn't even have a job last season. Oh, and I can't overturn it. All right, here we go. A big, 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 big moment right here. Big moment right here, ladies and gentlemen. Um. Oh, yeah. So our pick is top 10 protector. I was like, hold on now. Spurs now is top 10 protector. So that's going to be our pick. We also got a top 10 protected pick from Portland. That pick is projected to be number 11. So we might have two first rounders here. We got the first pick. Oh my God. We got the first pick. Oh man. How often do you see in these videos, you tank your butt off and you don't win the lottery? Well, we won the lottery. Cooper Flag. Oh, hold on. I'm thinking about some other dude. Psych. Cooper Flag is going to be a bull, man. We did. It was worth it. It was worth it. Everything we did led us to this moment, man. Everything we did led us to this moment where Cooper Flag is the first overall pick. We got no more draft picks here. Um, but I might want to change that. Grant Williams, can you give me a draft pick? Probably not. You know, we'll move. We'll move. We, we won the draft. You win the draft. You get Cooper Flag, you win the draft. Interesting offseason here because uh, we do have a max contract spot. <laughs> now, I'm not saying we're using that max contract spot, but we have it. Uh, would like to get in on some free agency, though, for us. a real center, though. Alperin Shingun is restricted. He's got no real offers. So we might just throw an offer sheet um, at Alperin Shingun and make them pay him. Don't hurt us at all. John Collins is here. Nas Reed is completely unrestricted. He's 6'9". Him and Cooper Flag will both be 6'9". Cooper Flag is defensive, like a dominant defensive player. So it might 
might make sense to offer Nas Reed a, a real contract. He's only 25 years old. He even could be progressing a little bit more. So I'm not mad at that. We got to bring back Josh Giddy. Um, so, oh, oh, Alperin Shingoon. I, they're going to match it regardless. I'm not losing the bird rights on Josh Giddy so they can match Alperin Shingoon's money. See, look, they decided to match it anyway. So, yeah, I'm not going to let that deter us. They say Josh Giddy wants $33 million? 33 annually? You were good. You weren't that good, bro. What? I mean, everybody's market is, is, is ridiculous. Why would Jordan Poole... Don't you have three years left on your contract, actually? Why are you a free agent right now? I thought he had another year in his contract. I could be bugging. But hey, we got Nas Reed to come to Chicago. Nas Reed. I mean, get the banners. Get the banners ready. Point guard, I would love to get a new backup point guard. And yeah, new backup point guard. New backup. I mean, at this price, it doesn't hurt to bring Lonzo Ball back. You know, it's $11 million a year. Um... But we will still keep Josh Giddy for that big old amount of money. Sheesh. Oh, man, that don't feel right to do that. Um, Let me trade Javon Carter to a team where he might be able to play. Cool. So we have everything done. I'm going to go get another small forward on the minimum. All right. W offseason, man. Got a new starting center. Got a new backup point guard. Got the steal of the draft. Uh, Kobe White does not progress. Okay. That's not That's not great. That's not great. Modest Buzelis jumps up three, though. We'll take that. Even Grant Williams is jumping up at 26 years old. Lonzo Ball drops one. That's fine. I think we have a team that should win 30 games. You know, still got our own first round, if I'm not mistaken, this year. So we, I said we wanted to compete. I ain't mean like compete, compete. You know what I'm saying? I ain't mean it like that. Um, I might start Patrick Williams at the three because I think he's he's just more ready than Modest Buzelis. Modest is just going to come off the bench for another season. I think he'll be okay with that. Especially if he's progressing the way it is, he could take that spot pretty easily. So it's Kobe White. It is Josh Giddy, Patrick Williams, Cooper Flag, Nas Reed. Off the bench, we have Ayo Dosumu, Jalen Smith, Modest Buzelis, Grant Williams, and then Alonzo Ball. Will Hardier's our coach, too. I didn't do that, but I'll take it. That's an upgrade. Um, first game is a loss against his former team. Whatever. We're cool with that. Game two is a loss. Okay. Whatever. We're okay with that. Because when Cooper Flag is the best player in the world outside of Victor Wibanyama, None of, none of what's happening right now is going Can we get a... Just want one win. Just one of them. There it is. There it is. Shout out to the 76 and shout out to Nas Reed, who's averaging four rebounds per game as a starting center. Yikes. Big yikes. Big, big yikes. Cooper Flack can rebound very well, though, with his six point something. All right, whatever. They got Kobe White as a bomb, bro. I needed him to be great for this video. Unfortunately, he's not. We're 27 and 24, though, so we're, we're actually a playoff team. Shout out to this guy, our all-time leading scorer, or eventual all-time leading sco so scorer. Sorry, MJ. Um, I don't know what to do from here, actually. Like, we should be a team that's buying right now, right? I mean, we're a playoff team as of right now. There's some teams on our tail. We want to keep this spot. There might be some people on the board. And the people that I wanted to keep aren't good. Like, why is Kobe White awful, bro? Come on. That just kills the whole vibes. Anthony Davis, get ready to come home, my guy, because I'm trading for you, I guess. Or at least attempting to trade for you. I don't know. I doubt they'd say yes, but y'all are selling, right? You you don't want to be paying that man all that money. Um, Is Jalen Smith still amazing? Kind of. He's actually better now than he was then. We got to make $37 million up to get him here. Um, How the heck do we do that? It would have to be... Uh, it would have to be Patrick Williams involved in the trade. Uh, hey, you ain't got no complaints from me. He's been the same player since day one. So whatever. And we still need 17 million. All is dead mission. Because we'd have, have to give up Nas Reed. And I don't really want to do Nas Reed dirty like that. You know, no, no way we do him that dirty. We, we send him Lonzito back. The money matches right here. Obviously, they're going to say no to this trade because Anthony Davis is so much better. Um, but we have a Blazers first round pick completely unprotected. We got a Cavs first round pick completely unprotected. We got a Bucks first round pick completely unprotected. So we give you the Cavs pick. All right, that's a dead. That's dead. That's dead. That was a lot to give up anyway. I, I would be jumping the gun a little bit if I traded for a 34 or 32 year old center right now. It doesn't make sense. Uh, the Wizards are selling. They have Jalen Brunson as the one man. Wow. And what's the contract like, Jalen? 43 million. I'm adding it to the list. I, I don't know how you ended up there, but I'll take my chances. Of, Potentially buying in on that. De'Aaron Fox is on the team too, and they are selling. I, I, they never give the Kings no love. 
But we already did the Kings video. We we basically got y'all the championship. So y'all should feel alright, right? Y'all should feel alright. I should also look at the this like Derek White. It says right here the following players on the trade block: Derek White, Chris Asperzingis, Drew Holiday, and two more. I mean, it don't really fit what I'm thinking. But if Drew, if, if Derek White is available, I'll go get Derek White. What's the contract like? Thirty one. Ooh, it's kind of rough. But Leah, let me look at the teams that are dangling people around. Giannis onto the Kumpo. Wait. It says Yaza de Kumpo are on the block with Bobby Porter's, but it also says he's untouchable. Which one is it? I don't know. I'm calling. Take this two one and a half hour drive to Chicago and buy a house over here. Paul George on the market, I guess. Who else on the market? Car Anthony Towns on the market. That makes sense to me. Jaden McDaniels on the market. They just got everybody other than Anthony Edwards. Uh, what else? Max Strews, Clay Thompson, DeJounte Murray, Herb and Herb. Oh, Herb Jones on the market. Something I'm interested in, actually. What's the, what's the money like? He's shooting it well. Herb Jones, welcome to the list. Oh, never mind. The list is full. But that's the guy I would go for. They're buying. And if he's available, I'll, I'll buy. I will buy. All right, we got a real list. Can I just want to test the, the Giannis thing first, though. I just want to see. What do, what do they mean? Like, I will give you uh, Josh Giddy, obviously, in an 18 million. So Josh Giddy and Patrick Williams. Oh, my God. It gets so complicated. Yeah, so they consider him untouchable. But he's also on the block? I don't know what that means. They're sending me mixed signals, and I'm not a mixed signals type of guy. Jalen Brunson's contract is 43. We got 37 here, and then Anthony Davis is 50. Anthony Davis is 54. Derek White might be the guy. Now he's probably gonna regress at 31 years old, but he would still bring something to the scene that we it would be hard to find. So I will try to go get Derek White, 31 million dollars. We would need to throw them Patrick Williams, which again is fine with me because he's not progressing at all. We need to make up about nine million more. So that could be Lonzo. That could be Lonzo, man. Contracts work right here. They're going to say no to this. They want the Portland first round. They'll give us Peyton Pritchard. So they're replace, replacing our backup point guard hole. Um, Portland, one and a half star value. Sure. Is Port, what, watch Portland be awful. And we just traded away their pick. Oh, they're, they're the three seed. Portland turned it around very fast. So that pick means nothing to me right now. Derek White, welcome to the team. Now, what we're going to do, because I don't want Josh Giddy coming off the bench because he's actually, like, statistically one of our best players. Like, no joke. Uh, and the plus minus say that, too. So I'm probably just going to move Josh Giddy over to the three because he's 6'8". Yeah. So he can do that. All right, cool. Miles Buzelis again. It might just take some time for you to get into that lineup. Maybe one day you will. Maybe one day you won't. All right. So we got the white backcourt with Kobe and Derek. Then we got Josh Giddy, Cooper Flag, and then Nas Reed. I like this team a lot. We should be a for sure playoff team now. Time will tell. Shea gets MVP number one. Dylan Harper over over Cooper. All right, it's, that's fine. That's fine. Just add another, another thing to yourself, um, Cooper. It's just like they disrespect you. Now, he did end up second. He averaged 19, 8, and 2, 19, 6, and 5. So, yeah, the counter stats are better. Um, efficiency is about the same. So, I, you're, not, you know, you're not mad at it. You know, you're not mad at it because one of us is in the playoffs, so the other one is not. We're the sixth seed, and we're going against the, the reigning NBA champion, um pacers who again have the same team so uh they're the three seed with a six seed they win game one behind the tyrese halliburton 40 14 game they win game two we we take a game this is not a series i'm expecting to win by the way that's why we're breezing through oh we might win it though we go to a game seven now i ain't saying i'm trying to lose it so now that we're in the game seven eight man rotation lineup looks good game seven here we go I ain't trying to lose it now, but if we lose, I'm not tripping because I feel like we still got a long way to go. But it look like we might upset the defending champions, y'all. There's a chance. There's a real chance these bulls do it. And boy, oh boy, look like they will. We get to the second round behind a Cooper. He's a he's a rookie. Do 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 do. He's a rookie. 31 and 17. No A button. No problem. Huge game. Peyton Pritchard off the bench. He was a throw into the trade. Elite. All right, so second round, we're going against the Boston Celtics. So this is Alonzo's revenge and Derek White's revenge because they got traded for each other. Uh, game one is a they're they're significantly better than us. Let's let's not beat around the bush. If we take some games, I'm cool with that. But this Boston Celtics team is incredible, even without Derek White. Yeah, cool. Whatever. Detroit is in the finals. Yep. Okay. Detroit is in the finals. Detroit. I, oh my God, it's the same star lineup. They did it. They did it. It's the same star lineup. Casey Wallace is starting at the one for the Thunder. Oh, my God. Detroit turned it around. Trajan, Trajan Langdon, that, that's how you pronounce his name. They were up 3-1. Don't blow the 3-1 lead. They didn't. Wow. Detroit basketball. 
They did add Jalen Suggs, though. That's huge. And they also added former Chicago Bull Bruce Brown, who gets ring number two. But other than that, it's the same team, man. Shout out to them for turning it around that fast. We haven't seen the Raptors at all. Uh, we haven't seen the Raptors at all. Remember, we traded with them earlier in the video. Um, we do not have a pick this year because we traded it away, I guess. Yes, the 21st overall pick, we traded it away. Don't remember if that's from... Oh, that might be the DeMar DeRozan trade finally conveying. I think that's what that is. We might have some seconds. Nope, no picks in this draft at all. That's completely okay. It's completely okay. Julian Phillips, I'll give you that offer, even though you probably will never, ever play for us. Same thing, Daylon, because you might get traded this offseason. Kobe White's a free agent. He wants $20 million. Redemption season for Kobe White, bro. He has not been good, and I refuse to let him just go for nothing. So he's he's resigning on $20 million a year. He's our starting point guard for the foreseeable future, okay? Nas Reed didn't really play out the way I wanted him to. Um, and I think part of that's just because he's undersized. So let's go get Drum to come back to Chicago to get some rebounds for the, for the good guys. You know what I'm saying? You always can use a rebounding dude. And our starting center averaged four boards a game last year. That's just not going to cut it. All right, here we go. Play progression. Derek White drops one. Not tripping. Not tripping. I knew that was inevitable. But I'm fine with that. Kobe White and Josh Giddy both jump up one. And then Cooper Flag goes into your number three as an 83. And then Modest Buzelis. You're looking good, my guy. Uh-oh, Drummond, where you at? Ooh, I'm sorry. I, I guess I, it was a one-year deal. It was a one-year deal. I ain't, I ain't even paying him a lot of money. But he drops significantly. Okay. So six seed last year. Can we, can we, can we capture that lightning again? This game sucks, bro. On everything, bro. I, I can't. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm 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 gonna lose it, bro. I am going to lose my mind if I can't finish this video. I'm lose my mind. I'm gonna go back to watch the video I uploaded the other day that also had this problem, right? Right? And if it's the same year that it's happening in, it's GG's. We just we will never be able to do a real 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 rebuild with the real rosters because anytime you do all the free agency and all of this and all of that the game is just gonna crash this game sucks bro oh my god i hate this this company so bad so it starts crashing in 2026 in the last video let's see if it's 2026 in this video let's see if it's 2026 bro it is august 2026 as you can't get to you can't get to the 26 27 season apparently you literally can't do it this game sucks, bro. And, and oh, I don't want every single one of my videos to end with a rant, bro. Like, I, it doesn't make sense how, oh my God, I'm, I'm y'all really about to see a man like spiral. That's what I feel like I'm doing. Cause at the end of the day, all I ever want to do is make entertaining content for y'all. Like that's literally the number one thing on my priority list always and forever. And I can't do it. I literally, they won't let me do it. They won't let me do my job. Like this is, this is my job, 2K. And you wanna know the crazy part? Throughout the years of me doing this as my thing, creating content, there's been plenty of times where the game has completely crashed and I opted to, myself, I opted to, don't, don't publish the video, shoot something else. Cause I don't like the idea of not having an end to a video. I want to win the championship. How many times you see me not win a championship? I always want to end a video with a yes, we did it. I, there's been so many videos I've just completely scrapped because the game sucks and it won't it won't let me finish. If this don't go, then it's I just company is so bad. Here we go, moment of truth. Can we advance to the next season? No, but this is this is what they want to do. They want to get you to pre pre order a video game that we haven't seen anything from. How is this normal in our community? Where you, we see a picture of Jason Tatum, right? We, I'm sorry, we see the cover of Jason Tatum. The cover is, is trash, in my opinion, just, just personally. And they expect us to be like, ooh, yes, let me drop $160 on it right now, even though I know nothing about the game. How has this become the norm in our community? What is happening in gaming? Where a company can drop the, the cover of their game and say, give us $150, please. Give us $150 right now. We, I ain't showed you no trailer, no gameplay. I ain't even show you no screenshot. Just the cover of Vince Carter turning into a trophy or something. And we want, we want $150 for that every year, every year. And I swear to you, if, if, if they had any competitor, if live was back or any other game, 
where I can rebuild a team and play with the real NBA teams. I would never buy this damn game from this company, bro. I just can't do it no more, bro. And I'm gonna crash out two videos in a row because I just want to make content for my people, man. Do you wanna see something? I don't upload nearly as much as I used to. And this month I've uploaded one, two, three, four, five, six videos. Once upon a time, I was uploading six a week. And all of that, if all of that is because of the 2K burnout and the game being trash. And trust, it's not because a brother got lazy because I'm creating content other places. It's not because we, uh-oh. It's not because I got lazy or anything. I'm creating content every other place except for 2K because this game sucks. All I wanted was to make an entertaining video of me rebuilding my favorite team because they're awful. And 2K said, no, nah, you can rebuild your favorite team. But you can't you you can't use today's rosters. You can't have the rookies in. You can't have all of the trades. I, this game would work 100% if I did a very traditional my NBA yada yada yada. But the moment you start uploading the real rosters with the rookies and the new signings and the new contracts, that's when it crashes. Basically saying, uh uh uh, uh. you want you, you want to use these rookies? You better you better spend $150 to pre-order the game so you can get it.